Oh, Jerry Nader. Is there enough gas in that thing? Yeah, keep digging. Two more laps there. Lap and a half. Be careful. Yeah, be careful. He's got an eye on the track, an eye on that fuel pressure gauge right now. And Tony Furr's got his eyes shut. <laughs> if Jerry Nader would look at that fuel pressure gauge and it start going down, or clutch no ready back and forth. Oh, no pressure behind. White flag is up. Final lap here at Atlanta for the Napa 500. Jerry Nadu up on Bobby Labonte by 4.3 seconds. A little farther along, and even if it runs out, he could coast it home. He's, he's wiggling the car. The fuel pressure's low. Does Labonte have time to catch him? The leader's off the pace. Where's the green car? Here he comes. Here comes Bobby Labonte. Is he going to have enough time? Yes, Tony. Off the final corner, Nadu's going to lose the race. Bobby Labonte is the winner. There's your drama. Wow. <laughs> Jerry Nadu runs out of gas a half a lap from the checkered flag. Bobby Labonte wins the race. And Jeff Gordon has locked up the championship. That is just brutal. I mean, oh, <laughs> it's brutal. You know, you know that... As soon as that fuel gauge bobbles, that fuel pressure gauge is like, uh, Unbelievable finish. Second straight time here in Atlanta. Great job by Bobby Labonte and his crew today. Bobby Labonte, the defending NASCAR Winston Cup champion, will yield the trophy to Jeff Gordon today, but he'll do so in victory lane, having claimed his second win of 2001. And for Jeff Gordon, boy, what can you say? Four championships in racing. And there is one heartbroken young man right there. I think. And back here in the garage area, Bill, Jerry Nady talking to the media. And first off, did it give you any indication it was going to go? No. Uh, it's an unfortunate deal. Uh, we. We just didn't get good fuel mileage today. I'm not sure why. Uh, we were pulling a lot lesser gear than everybody else out there. Uh, usually, when you do that, you get better fuel mileage, but it just wasn't today. Uh, not sure why. But uh, UAW Delphi team did a super job. Great pit stops all day long. Um, got real loose there with about 15 laps to go, and, and, but I figured I had a good enough lead. I figured I'd just save the car and, and bring it home. And uh, God darn it, half a lap to go and just, just wasn't able to get there. You told me on the way over you could not imagine this had happened. You never thought this would happen. Well, no. It, it, when it happens to you, you, you never realize it happened be, to, to anybody. But it, after all the races I've seen in the past, it's happened a lot to a lot of people. And uh, I, so I just got to take it good. Uh, there's one more race left. Hopefully we can win that one at Loudon on Turkey Day. And uh, hopefully this will spice up uh, the winter time and get ready for next season. He doesn't win, but he finishes with three straight top fives here in Atlanta. A first, a third, and today, a fourth. Alan?